here on a nice spring day in Halifax. What is, what is it today, Todd? Is it minus four with a wind chill? Yeah. Um, we have this Piper Pro that's back at Sun Landing for some service. We thought it'd be a good opportunity to take it out and test it and maybe give you a few tips on how to get the best data with your Hyper Pro. So the first thing you do is you get it all trimmed up. You can see the deployment cable is attached here with a shackle. And then the rest of the electronic part of the cable is trimmed up so that it's not dragging in the water so that you get good tilts. Because to get the best data, you need to have uh, tilts of less than two or three degrees. The best way to do that is to make sure all of your cables are trimmed up so that they're not producing a lot of drag. Otherwise, the instrument is set with lead. This is flotation uh, pins up here, so it's balanced so that the tilts are naturally pretty low. And typically, we get them less than two degrees. This particular Hyper Pro has two wet labs pucks. Uh, this one has three channels of fluorescence uh, chlorophyll, phycoerythrin, and CDOM. This one has, uh, is a turbidity sensor. We also have a temperature sensor on here. You, some Hyper Pros have conductivity temperature sensors. This one just happens to be a uh, temperature by itself. And then for radiometers, we have uh, hyperspectral. ED sensor, so downwelling irradiance, and then we have hyperspectral upwelling radiance, so an LU sensor. To go along with this profiler, we also have an ES sensor uh, over here in the corner of the boat. This is also hyperspectral, and that gives us a surface reference while the profiler is falling through the water. So when you're getting ready to deploy, uh, you first you talk to your ship's captain and make sure that the propeller is disengaged so that uh, if you run into any strange currents, if the propeller happens to go under the boat, uh, the cable won't get wrapped around the propeller and get cut. And that has happened in the past. So uh, before you put it in, make sure the propeller is disengaged or neutral. Uh, have the boat side onto the wind. You go over to the windward side because when you put the propeller in the water, it's designed so that the fins keep it in the parcel of water where you deploy it first of all. So it'll stay there while the boat drifts away. That's one of the ways we uh, use to get the profiler away from the boat so that we don't get uh, interference with the ship shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead here and deploy it. Another thing before we deploy it, I should say, is we do a pressure tear because you want to zero the pressure sensor for atmospheric pressure, which is about you know, 10 meters of pressure. We've already done that, so I'm just going to go ahead and deploy the instrument now. When you're deploying the instrument, make sure that you only grab the mechanical part of the cable, not the electrical part. Uh, the electrical part is not designed to take strain, but the mechanical part is a Kevlar cable, and it is, and it is designed for that. So now the wind's coming across this side, we're on the windward side, and we'll just take the profiler and put it in the water. We usually just pay out some cable as the profiler sinks. This way, while the profiler is sinking, we're drifting downwind slowly, so that when I pull it up, the profiler will still be in the place where we deployed it, and we'll be downwind. And that way, it'll be away from the ship, so we won't be uh, in the shadow. We'll get better radiometric data that way. So let it go down a little bit. I'm gonna pull it up now, see where it is. So you see, it's over there. So that's where we deployed it. We've drifted a little bit. It's probably, we want to get it away a little bit further just to make sure we're not getting any, uh, any interference in the light field. along the 
we have Sappy all set up here. Um, it's several different windows. You can arrange them in any way that makes sense to you. The main window is up on the top here where we have all the instrument telemetry coming in. We have uh, the ES sensor spectrum, the downwelling irradiance, and the upwelling radiance. So when you're doing your profile, you'll see these two change as the profile goes through the water. The surface irradiance should stay the same. Uh, and this window is your ancillary window, so it tells you what your tilts are. Right now, they're very high because the instrument's on deck. And it tells you how deep you are, how fast the profiler is falling, and then some other parameters like the water temperature and things like that. Uh, other ancillary sensors, these two windows are for each of the two wet labs pucks. This one is for the turbidity sensor, and this one is for the chlorophyll, phycorifrin, and C2M sensor.